These are the top seven tips for Facebook marketing, completely free on how to generate network marketing leads using Facebook, starting with the basic all the way through to the advanced. The first question you're probably asking is, why should I listen to you? My name is Alex J, and last year I made over £100,000 from home, and this year I've done a lot, lot more. So please make sure you have a piece of paper and a pen, and you're ready to go. If you haven't, please pause the video, go get a pen and paper, and come back. So let's begin. The first thing, like I said, I'm going to start with the basic and work our way through to the advanced. So the first thing, and this is very, very important to realize, and this is more important than most people realize is your profile picture okay now this is this is key okay why is it important to have a good profile picture well as you can see here we've got over 800 uh, sorry over 108 people that have liked this profile picture now why is this a good profile picture well it's very relevant to my audience and your profile picture needs to be relevant to your audience as well who are you trying to attract if you're trying to attract professionals then you need to dress as a professional if you are trying to um, appeal to, uh, for example, movies, if you have a romance movie, then the poster for the romance movies will be people kissing and it will be pink and so on and so forth. If it's uh, an action, they'll have lots of red and they'll have explosions and guns and blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing with Facebook. You need to make sure that you apply this technique to your profile picture. Who are you trying to atta uh, attract? Who is your audience? If, it's, if you're selling like weight loss tea, then you need to be looking healthy in your profile picture. Uh, if you're uh, selling financial uh, advice, then you need to be looking like a financial expert. And it's very important that you make sure that your profile is tailored towards your audience. Um, secondly, you also want to make sure that you have a good profile banner. Now, your banner, again, is very, very important. You have to have a good banner. Um, now, as you can see, without people speaking to me, okay, because not everyone is forthcoming, um, not everyone's confident to have that first conversation, the reason on my profile uh, banner that I have business consultants so immediately people know who I am and what I do without having to have a conversation with me. Uh, then you can see I'm using my handle, so I'm putting Instagram in there, so you can see my Instagram, you can see my Facebook, and you can see my website. And again, that means without people having to communicate with me, because not everyone will, they are able to do research on me before they feel the confidence to actually speak with me. And you need to do the same thing. So make sure that your profile banner, if you're uh, selling financial freedom, then again, your banner needs to be representing financial freedom, aka it needs to be you on a beach or maybe you on an airplane or uh, you with your new car or whatever, right? So it's important that again, your banner make sure that it's matched up. Uh, the third thing is your statuses. Your statuses need to be well written. Now, this is how you're going to be selling yourself. It needs to be quality, okay? So as you can see here, um, because of my business, again, all my statuses are towards, uh, tailored towards my audience. So obviously I'm a business consultant, so I'm talking about money and I'm talking about leads a lot. Um, so you can see my profile and you can see that my engagement's pretty good. I've got 52 likes, four comments, three shares. And it's very important I get the shares. Um, this one, 47 uh, likes, 10 comments, three shares. Again, the likes are great for me because it means that I'm getting across to more people. And you can see all my statuses get shares because we write quality content. So it's very important that when you do a picture, for example, that you sell what the picture is about and you sell yourself. Okay, so again, it's very, very important. And you can see all of my statuses get shares. I also get lots of tags um, congratulating me. And again, that's really great as well. Um, it really does help with my edge rank, right? So again, this is very, very important that you make sure that you have represented your company and your brand and that you're selling the idea of yourself and who you are, right? So you can see, like, I get a lot of, uh, lot of people a lot of customers talking about me, a lot of clients talking about me, which is really good. And it means that other people can see what I've achieved as well. Now, your edge rank is very important. How do you improve your edge rank? Now, if you don't know what edge rank is, edge rank is how you can get in front of more people. How can you get more people to look at your status? How can you have more people find your status, right? Now, what you want to be doing is you want to make sure that you're commenting on a lot of people's statuses. You want to be liking a lot of people's statuses. It's very, very important. Now, don't go spamming your link around, okay? Because if you spam your link, you're going to get less people engaging with you and you'll probably get more people removing you as a friend um, than anything else. You want to make sure um, that you're communicating with people effectively. So if someone writes, um, you know, I made 2,000 this week, you know, write on there. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. Um, you deserve it. Keep pushing hard. That kind of stuff, right? 
And just that alone will drag that person across to your profile. Now they're going to look at who you are and what you're doing, right? So you want to be commenting on a lot of people's statuses. And you also want to be adding a lot of people as friends. So you need to find friends. Um, now, again, you need to work out who your target audience is and where are these people going. Um, so the number uh, number five it would be uh, what are network marketers looking at? Who um, who are they following? What, uh, so, for example, you could have like Robert um, Karasaki or you could have like Grant Cardone. He's a great one. Um, so you could have, for example, you could look at Grant Cardone. You can see, uh, if you don't know who he is, please look him up. He's, he's fantastic. Um, the guy gets incredible engagement. So I could just press on this and I could see, um, you can see, look, I'm friends with all these people, right? I'm friends with all these people because they're relevant to me. I know that if they're selling, they're relevant to me and I know that that's a potential customer. And I also sit there and I go through the comments. I'm reading the comments and if I feel that someone's uh, good to work with, I'll reply on their comment and I'll start speaking with them and engaging with them. Then to get them across to my inbox, once they're in my inbox, then I can then move that along a little bit further. So again, you need to really understand who is your audience, who is your target market. Okay, so I know my uh, my audience is 25 to 55. I know that they um, have some money. They're already in network marketing. They're not doing well with generating leads and sales, and that's where I'm able to help them. So you need to know where are your audience going? Who are they following? What do they like? If you know where your audience are, you can get in front of them. It's a lot easier. So instead of chasing people, you've got people finding you. That's very very important. So again, you can add these people as friends. But don't go crazy. Don't add a lot of people in a short session because what will happen is you'll get your Facebook account banned. So don't do that. You want to add people slowly. So don't go crazy. Um, also, you want to also be involved with groups as well. So you can have a look at groups. Now groups, I'll be very honest with you. Um, they're a really mixed bag, okay? So I'll tell you why I'm personally in groups. I don't go into groups to spam, right? I don't, I don't go in groups to, to um, spam people, but I do add some people from the groups if I can see that they're not making money. And most of these people in these groups, a little secret, most of these people aren't making money, right? Because all they do is they're spamming their group and they'll hope that people fall through it. But they don't realize that that's what everyone's doing and that's why it's a terrible place to, to market. So they're great people to speak with because you know they're network marketers. They're probably not making a lot of money, therefore they're probably looking for a new opportunity. So if you're with a good company and you're making money, then you can speak with these people and say, look, this is the company that I'm with, blah, 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 have the conversation, go for the close. And that moves me on to point seven. You need to be having a lot of conversations. If you're not having 50 conversations every single day, then you are going to struggle to move forward. The only way that you can have 50 conversations with new people <clears throat> every day is to make sure that you're adding people, that you've got people adding you, that you're engaging where they're engaging, aka if they're liking on a Facebook page or they're commenting on a Facebook page, make sure that you're doing the same thing. Make sure that you're liking those Facebook pages. Make sure you're commenting. Make sure you're replying to them. Bring them across. Once they've seen you and they see you regularly, and that's why you need to be consistent with this method, if you're consistent with it, you'll keep getting people sending you friend requests. And you can see my friend requests, um, I've got a lot of friend requests. You can see it goes down and down and down and down. And believe me, this, this, I could go on for days doing this. Um, it just doesn't stop, right? So the reason I get so many friend requests, sorry, I don't mean to keep clicking that. Um, the reason I'm getting so many friend requests is because all these people are seeing me all the time. They can see that I'm constantly talking and I'm interacting and they see all my content, they see all my posts, they see my value. And it's very important that all your statuses, again, are putting out value, you're not just promoting your company. You want to sell the vision. If your company um, is about uh, weight loss tea again, then you can speak about weight loss and fitness because that is your audience. You don't necessarily need to talk about the tea. Uh, if you're selling golf clubs, then you could talk about Tiger Woods and what's he doing and, and other golfers. I'm not an avid golfer, um, but you can speak about golf clubs and golfing and, and that kind of stuff, and that is going to be great for your audience. Um, if you're selling solar panels, then you need to make sure that you're getting involved in those conversations online. Find the pages that these people would be interested in. Um, make sure, and again, this is very important, that you understand who is your target audience why are they going uh, to want to speak with you? Why are they going to want to add you as a friend? 
because if you understand that you'll know what content you should be putting out and they're going to come very quickly they're going to add you very quickly they're going to start commenting all your stuff they're going to interact with you they're going to jump in your inbox and instead of you running around and trying to communicate with all these people it'll work the other way around where all these people are coming to you they're finding you and communicating with you and asking you if they can join your business which is way 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 more effective now if you need more help with how to generate leads and sales and you want more Facebook marketing advice you want Twitter advice Instagram advice so on and so forth please make sure that you comment and subscribe on this channel uh, you can also add me on Facebook as you can already see uh, my Facebook tag is the Alex uh, the true Alex J uh, so it's www.facebook.com forward slash the true Alex J that's my Facebook you can send me a friend request please drop me an inbox as well um, because as you can see I get a lot of friend requests um, and yeah, you can also follow me on Instagram, which is instagram.com forward slash alexj020. And you can also check out my website, which is trueonlinedominantnation.com. And all these links are going to be in the description. So thank you again for watching this video. I hope you found value. If you have found value, please drop a comment and a share on this video. I'll speak to you guys again soon. Peace.